Well, guys, so this is Lake Brunner. Um, that's the Lake Brunner village over there, I believe. And, um, yeah, Mitchell's is down that way. But, yeah, cool little road, actually. I haven't, don't think I've done this one. All right, onwards. Um, definitely on the west coast now. The sand flies found me within minutes of being stopped there, so, um, windows are closed and I'll keep moving. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and find a side track here and I don't know what the state of it is. I know where one is, well, I roughly know where one is, but it's got a hell of a river crossing that I don't think I'll make. But let's go have a look. Hmm, there's one of them, but, um, as signified by the rocks, uh, no access. Oh well, good to know. interesting development. One of the tracks that I'm, I was actually sort of looking for along here sounds like a few friends of mine have already found it um, and they're up there and I reckon it's getting pretty interesting so I'm going to go and try and catch up with where they are. Um, it is also the direction I want to be heading in so it works out perfectly. Alright I am pretty sure this is the track so uh, we will head down here and try and find them. tire tracks so I'm on the right right path I think if this doesn't get any better in a sec I'm gonna head down wow this is rough nah screw this I'm dropping air pressure it's terrible I've just gone down to 25 psi in the tires um, it's definitely made an improvement and um, because I'm only doing a little bit of road later if I do any um, it's, I don't have to worry about airing up yet. So that's good. Um, let's see if we can go and find Colin and Paul. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, yeah. I think the four wheel drivers are everywhere. We're bloody bumped into Kevin oh. and what's his girlfriend's name? Oh, it's Joanne. Yeah, well, you found us. Joanne. Yeah. Is this the road you came up? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. It's coming up on my map as Clifton. Is it? Well, we don't get in the road name on it. Well, we were down in Popeye Trick Creek, but it was uh, getting rather challenging, and we weren't oh, yeah. quite sure, when it, you know, what we were going to hit. So we came back up to shoot in that way. Because my because um, Cockeye Creek well, was sort of, no name road. Yeah, well, no go name go road is where my friend lives. Okay. So I'm wanting to go. I, I, that might, was sort of my plan was to try and get through here to oh, the no yeah. name road. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that's the way we're going now. Oh. I think I think we yeah. probably might be pushing it. Because basically, yeah. go down this one, which is good forest all the way. And then no name road goes off of that. Yes. But this one, Cockeye Creek, which is just here, gets a bit tra tricky. Just goes, well, well, it's just a case of we look at it and go, hey, if there's a second vehicle, we'd just be plowing yeah. on down, but it was yeah. on our own. It's not that we were going to get stuck in winch, but it was mm. like we're just going further into the unknown. Yeah, exactly. Um, looks great. Alrighty, so I found Paul and Colin out here in the bush. And um, we're going to go and tackle a slightly more interesting track by the looks. Um, yeah. Let's see. A short sharp drop down the hill and we're straight into the creek. I'm going to do a very similar tactic and drop off down here. Ah, back in the boulders. We will have to be careful here. Good 
this is the beauty of going with two vehicles is you can take on stuff that you normally wouldn't all right we're going to go have a look Oh, yeah. Someone's mud flap blast on through. See in the middle. Especially when I'm on my own, I always get out and have a look, but it's um Oh yeah, it doesn't look like it's driven much past there. But... Yeah, this is... Someone has seen oh, the mud flap yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Are they going through there or are they going further up? Because that almost looks like tracks there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, so you keep going up. This is this is the stuff that like well, it's actually quite soft, but you know, tree roots. Great stuff, mate. You know, like yeah. Yeah. I took that one off and it worked. Um, mm. I'm going to try and rattle. Yeah, okay. Are you happy? Or do you, are you yeah, no, I think that'll be alright. This was one of those situations where it looked way worse than it actually was. When it came to driving it, it was actually a piece of cake. Don't know what the rest of the track's like. That was good. This is the beauty of doing it with another vehicle, is that you can do stuff that you wouldn't do on your own. Because there's no way I would have crawled. Well, there's plenty to winch off, but I don't think I would have gone to the effort of crawling through there. It was just myself. What have we got here? No, oh, yeah, just crawly boy around the outside. I think I can do that. getting hung up on things because I'm going too gently. But hey, that was good. Hug, hug left, eh? Yeah, we're going to have to be hitting that course, I think. Doesn't, doesn't look too bad, but... Oh, yeah. And there's a crack there. Yeah. I may actually push it in, eh? Oh. No, we know it's there. We know it's there. Yeah. That's, that's narrow, so I think it's undercut. It's undercut where you are, actually, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll just crawl, and then if it, it should only be one wheel if anything does. bank here is rather undercut so we're hugging the gorse bushes and we're through
Well, that challenger's definitely got a bit more ground clearance than me. I think I'll go back and try a different line. And that there shows you the importance of line choice. Took a slightly different one and it made all the difference. I definitely want my diff locker. This is where it would come into its own because I keep um, cross axling it. Because I'm just crawling and going carefully and I just don't go in with any momentum and it just lifts a couple of wheels off and spins. This one's got a bit of a sharp exit, but I think we'll be right. A lot of the tracks on the west coast are like this, it's pretty neat. You're crossing from one side of the creek to the other, or driving down it at some points. Oh, I'm just going to have to get up this. <laughs> I think I'd better just commit to that one. <laughs> yep, no, it came up there well, eh? I saw the decision right until you put your foot down. So, <laughs> well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And it's nice and shingly, the, yeah. you know, what we're not punching into. It's not... Cool. It's Very precise. We're five kilometres to the end, but it looks like there's a side track as well that's a lot closer, um, in 3.3 kilometres. Sounds good. So the further we push on down this track, the more overgrown and rugged and interesting it's becoming. We're starting to run out of day though, which is a little bit concerning. The Challenger was a bit scrapey going through there, but I think being a bit smaller, I might be right. We will hope, we will hope. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> ah, choice. Um, that's still three k's quite a bit. Before, we, what are we looking up for on our left? Um, it's, it's just a track. It's not that one there, but further back there, see, there's one that goes up the hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, onto whatever that is. This is a good little track, this. The terrain is so varied. This bit's a bit trickier than it looks. It's narrow, it's slippery, there's a washout and a drop off into the creek. If you make it that far, then it's straight into a bog. Paul's gone in gently and one of the wheels have slipped off the edge. The safest thing here is going to be putting the winch on the back and just pulling it back over. We'll see how that goes. Um, yes. I can see it at this stage. I just don't want to be in park because I don't want to load the gearbox up. So I'll be in there. And got the engine running? Yep. Yeah. Come back a little bit. Just a little, just a little. Little. Yep, just drive a little. Just a little. Yep, yep, beautiful. At that, perfect, perfect. Oh bloody perfect. That's what we want. Yep. It's about right, eh? Right, um, you have spade at all? Yes. So we went for a little walk just to see what the rest of the track was like and discovered that from here on it was pretty tough. Looks like most people were getting to where we were and turning around and heading back. If it was a bit earlier in the day I reckon we'd have a go but with less than an hour of daylight and a long way to get back out of this bush we decided it was time to turn around and make our way back. Cool, that'll... Left hand? Keep it, yeah, keep it much straight up. So if you just wait now, we'll get pulled back to there. Yeah. Just in case we winch, because that's going to be easier than snack, you know, doing, yeah. doing a reverse pull. Totally. Look at the rope and... Uh, yeah, so other people have had, definitely had trouble here. That the truck, that's... Okay, we are retreating. Yeah. And boy, did we have to back up a long way to find a spot to turn around. Okay, now I have to go back out.
Brutal, it's a bit brutal. All right, guys, I'm going to turn the cameras off. We just need to get out of here. We've got less than an hour of daylight, we've got half an hour. And we need to get the heck out of this track. So, I'll catch you later, guys. Well, folks, that was Cockeye Creek. We managed to make it out to the better tracks just as it was getting dark, with still half an hour or so of driving before we left the forest. What a stunning place, and I would like to come back sometime and give it another go. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time on Swamp Chalk Overland.